half Chinese. Um, don't worry, ladies, it's the top half. <laughs> If you didn't get that, that was a little dick joke, just thought I'd slip it in. <laughs> just like dick jokes, they just keep coming, don't they? <laughs> and I've almost reached the dick joke quota of my set as well, so it's doing good. I mean, should pose better. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, being half Chinese in this industry is, uh, is pretty good. Uh, I'm known as what's uh, culturally diverse. Now I know I'm culturally diverse because I'm job application forms under ethnicity. I write Chinglish. Some of you might have seen what I've done there. <laughs> got the word Chinese. <laughs> and I got the word English. And you smashed them together. <laughs> Which is how I was made. <laughs> Choking hazard. <laughs> you alright, love? <laughs> Good. I do this. Uh, I do this for a living. I travel all over the country. And uh, a few few months ago now, I was down in London doing an audition for the CFF, which is the Chinese Film Federation. So it's good to see so many Chinese film fans in. Thanks for coming. I'm glad that online marketing's working. But at this audition, right, this lady, she gave me this script to read. And the script went like this. Hello and welcome to the Chinese Film Federation 2014. This is my presenter voice. And the lady interviewing me, she went, ah, oh, sorry, Matt. Uh, can you do that again? But this time, in Chinese. <laughs> and I went, Hello and welcome to the Chinese Film Federation <laughs> of 2014. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm waiting on the callback. You know, being, being English and, and Chinese, it's great because I get to see the differences in culture. Like, I, f let's go with family size, yeah? I'm one of three, right? My mum, she's English. She's at English. <laughs> <laughs> and she comes from a family, she's one of two. Whereas my dad, he's Chinese, he comes from a family of one of 13. Thousand million Chinese just everywhere. No, it's good. I mean, one of the good things about having uh, having this as a job is I get to travel, and I'm fortunate enough to have done some gigs out in the United States of America. Have we got any Americans in? Good. Because I was at this gig at the Improv uh, Comedy Club in, in Orlando and I finished my set and there's this big guy at the bar and he came over and he said, hey man, you're really funny. I was like, hey, what do you do? Turned out he was an American Marine. We got in a bit of an argument. Well, it was less of an argument, more of a debate. But who's better? The American Marines or the British SAS? <laughs> Obviously, British SAS, isn't it? <laughs> but 
he goes off on one for 45 minutes, I kid you not, on going on about all the intricate details of how the US Marines are better than the SAS. And after he finished his whole spiel, he went, hoo-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and I went, that is a very good point you just made there. The American Marines are known for going into battle and making the war cry, hoo-ha! <laughs> Whereas the British SAS, they're known for going into war zones where it's really deadly and bombs and terrorists are going on and they're known for not making any noise at all <laughs> not even a peep <laughs> which is why the British SAS don't get shot <laughs> and then he went hoo ha and I ran away so it was all good, it was all good no, I, um, I've also managed to do some gigs out in, uh, in Bulgaria, out in Eastern Europe, which is fantastic. I loved it out in Bulgaria. I, do you know what? When I was out in Eastern Europe, I, I, I felt really at home because, you know, I think it's because it's equidistant between England and China. It's brilliant. <laughs> when I was out there, I, I realised how much I loved Eastern European women because they're, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> You might not know that he knows, <laughs> but I tell you, he knows. Because <laughs> the Eastern European women, right, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, and they're reasonably priced. <laughs> you know, I had, um, I had a girlfriend. I used to... Um, <laughs> I don't think I did that. I don't think that was me. She's going to need a ton of lady in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Do you come here often? <laughs> no, don't be sorry. People are supposed to laugh. Just, it's good. What's your name? Rebecca. That's a sexy name, Rebecca. And what do you do? I'm taking tips at the bar. I uh, am oh, single, don't worry. Um, no, I used to, um, I used to have a girlfriend, um, uh, and she was a goth, uh, but it didn't work out because I kept trying to make her happy. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I, I did have a girlfriend, and it was getting really quite serious, which was, was probably a good sign that it, it should probably end soon. Um, <laughs> And I knew it was getting serious because every time we walked past like H.F. Samuels, she would sound like fucking Gollum. Do you know what I mean? I want to ring! Uh, I, d I don't do impersonations. <laughs> but before we broke up, right, um, she, uh, she asked me to marry her. Yeah? Yeah? Well, well she, didn't, she didn't say it, she didn't say it exactly like that. She, she, uh, she said, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> but I did the right thing, you know. We broke up. <laughs> the baby was black, okay. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> no, it's good this. I love, I love doing slow comedy for a living. You guys have been genuinely brilliant. Thanks very much for uh, coming and support my comedy in Doncaster. Uh, but I, I do this for a living. I've had to make some sacrifices in my life. Some of the sacrifices that I've had to make is that I've had to find the cheapest rent going. And I, f I found somewhere, right? I, it's, it's really good. It's cheap. It's £25 a week. But I'm living with the 65-year-old widower. Yay. <laughs> 
there's three things that piss me off about this guy, right? First thing is, uh, he's never smoked a day in his life, so when he runs up the stairs, he doesn't get out of breath. He's a bastard. <laughs> Second thing is, he genuinely looks younger than I do when he's 65. <laughs> That was the wind. <laughs> and the third thing is, our house has very thin walls and floors. And um, I came home from a gig, it was, it was three months ago now. It was a Monday night. I came back, it was one in the morning. And I hear very loud, female, sexy noises coming from his room. And I thought, who the fuck pulls on a Monday? <laughs> I'd let him have it. <laughs> Tuesday night comes along. Get back from a gig. I was doing a local gig, doing a gig in Sheffield. So I was home quite early, home for 11 o'clock. And I hear even louder, sexy noises coming from his room. But then I realised he must have bought the bumper pack of Viagra, so I'll let him have it. <laughs> Third night comes along. Even fucking louder, right? But then. I realise he's doing so much better than Craig David, I'm like, right, I'll let him have it. It's fine. Thursday night comes along, guess what? Even louder. But worse, worse, two girls' voices coming from his room. Two distinctly different female voices coming from his room. Now, I've not slept properly in about a week, right? And I'm getting pissed off because I've just realised that he's been listening to porn on full volume for almost a week. <laughs> so I go downstairs and bang on his door hard and fast. Which is what he'd been doing the whole week. And he eventually opens the door, naked, dripping with sweat, 65 year old balls, to his knees, <laughs> the cheekiest little grin on his face, and I look past him, and I see these two beautiful women, and I go, Dad! <laughs> You're my hero! <laughs> Still didn't let me in. <laughs> I'm not gonna, well, on the subject of my dad, right? Uh, he, he speaks with this broken English accent. I've been trying to help him, right? I've been trying to help him get rid of the accent. Unfortunately, it's kind of sticking with him, but I have been able to help his vocabulary. We've been playing this game, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called Scrabble. <laughs> A few of you know what it is. Anyway, he put this word down on the board the other day, right? The word was possuming. I went, Dad, possuming, not a word. There's no action of possuming. You cannot get possumed <laughs> by someone else. Therefore, that triple word score must go. But he said, no, son, look it up, which is what I did. And it turns out that possuming is the art of sexually touching someone when they're asleep. <laughs> Some, some people say me and my family are a bit too close. <laughs> well, I, I, I've really enjoyed it here. I, I'd love to tell you jokes for, for longer, but I'm, I'm running out of time, so I think I'm gonna, gonna finish on a song, if that's all right with you guys. <clears throat> cool. oh, it's gonna be a seamless setup. All right, so, um, <clears throat> you guys, out there. How many of you guys are, are single? Just give me a cheer if you're single. Girl? 
Because I don't know if you know, but if 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 you do meet a homeless girl and you're like, hey, um, do you uh, do you want to come and go get some food? They're gonna say yes. <laughs> and and after you've had your food, if you say, hey, do you want to come come stay at my place? They're gonna say yes. <laughs> and the best thing about um, sleeping with homeless girls is uh, that they're proper filthy. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this song is... Um, can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the chorus is really easy, so when you know it, if you just sing along, yeah? Are we in a agreement? Yeah. Good. Hey there, girls who are online dating. While young guys are masturbating over you, over profile pictures of you. Sexy women. You want a guy who's really charming, but his best friend's five. Which is pretty alarming to you So you Think he's a pedo He is <laughs> Like the pedo jokes, do you? Fucking hell Right, okay You are a guy Are you alright? Easy now, easy now You are a guy That's seen the world That'll buy you gifts like expensive pearls, yeah you do. You love gifts, you do. Sorry, uh, do, you, do you like gifts like chocolates and flowers and so what you do? You do? Yeah. Greedy women. <laughs> Alright, chorus, yeah? Hey there girls who are online dating. While young guys are masturbating over you, over profile pictures of you. Dog face pictures. <coughs> <laughs> right, who made that attractive? Seriously. <laughs> you want a guy that's got a career and after sex he won't disappear, oh yeah, you, you love to cuddle, you do, you want a guy that's really funny, who can play guitar and has a flat tummy, oh yeah, you, have you seen one, have you, hey that hot stuff Rebecca. <laughs> So, uh, have you, have you seen one? I'm seriously running out of time, Rebecca. She's so wet right now. <laughs> Because there's usually one more chorus where everyone everyone sings together. <laughs> it's quite a little awkward. <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we do the song? <laughs>